Okay, and we're back. Let's moving on to the example number three. Example number three asks, where do the lines 4x plus 3y equals 13 and 5x plus y minus 8 equals 0 intersect? So we're going to answer this question. Let's start off the exact same way we've been doing, and that is rewrite the equations, call it 1, call it 2, and now we need to follow the first step. First step is to isolate. Isolate 4. Let's look at the two equations. Here we go. Oh, we're going to isolate for y in equation number 2. And we do the following. Plug it in. Isolate for y in 2. Sub in 1. Expand it out. Collect like terms. And we end up with x is equal to 1. So again, isolate for y in equation number 2. That's exactly what I did. I left the y where it was because it was already positive. Move the 5x over. Move the minus 8 over. We got minus 5x plus 8. We're going to sub this in equation number 1. So now we have 4x plus 3y. Well, the y is now negative 5x plus 8 equals 13. Expand this out, looking at this, and we get negative 11x is equal to negative 11. That means that x is equal to 1. Next step, sub in 2. We're going to sub the uh, x equals 1 into equation number 2. All right, so we have 5 times 1 plus y minus 8 equals 0. We do that, we get y, so here we get, we would have y minus 3 altogether. We move the minus 3 over, it became plus 3. That's how y is equal to 3. Next, we check. Check 1, 3, left side, right side, in equation number 1. And look folks, this is what we get. Left side is 13, right side is 13. Left side equals right side. We've checked that they're equal, makes us happy. The lines intersect at 1, 3. So that is the end of example number 3. Let's now move on to a little bit more complicated problem. Let's move on to a word problem. Example number 4, an apartment building contains 80 apartments. One-bedroom apartments rent for $850 per month. Two-bedroom apartments rent for $1,050 per month. The total monthly rental income is $78,400. How many apartments of each type are in the building? All right, so we have a word problem here. So we need to design an equation a linear system that represents this word problem. We have two totals and we also have some other values indicated in here. So starting off, we need to have a let statement. Introducing our two variables, excuse me, let x represent something and let y represent something. What will they represent? Well, we're going to let x represent the number of one-bedroom apartments because that's one of the things we don't know. The other variable is let, X rep let Y represent the number of two-bedroom apartments. Once we know the number, that because that also is what it's asking, how many apartments of each type are in the building. So now we have to get the equation. Well, there are two totals given to us, 80 and the other total is this value here. First of all, let's deal with the 80. We know there's a total of 80 apartments in the entire building. So, what kind of apartments are there? Well, there's X, one-bedroom apartments, and Y, two-bedroom apartments. So, X plus Y is going to equal 80 because of that. The other total we have is 
that one bedroom apartments will rent for $850 and the second one rents for $1,050 per month. But those are neither totals. Those specifically deal with one bedroom and two bedroom. You'll see the word total in the question. It says the total monthly rental income is $78,400. So that's our second total. How do we get that total? Well, 850 times X being the number of one bedroom apartments plus $1,050 Y, which is the two bedroom apartments, equals a total of $78,400. Now that we have this, we have our two equations. Call this one, call the second one two. Let's move this equation onto a new page so we can continue on with this problem. So we have the two equations, here we are, as listed. And one's one, the other one's two. First step, you got it folks, isolate. What are we going to isolate for? Well, you get a choice here. We can isolate for x, or we can isolate for y. Doesn't matter which one. And what I recommend you try and solve this problem by stopping the video now and trying to do this problem yourself. Don't forget, isolate sub sub check. All right, stop the video now and try the question. Oh, you're back. All right, let's continue this. I chose to isolate for x in equation number one. So x got to go by itself because it was the first variable I saw, and you got x equals 80 minus y. You now plug this into the other equation and you get sub into number 2 850 times 80 minus y plus 1050y is equal to $78,400. Well what do we do now? Well you're going to expand it out just as such folks and then you're going to collect like terms and get a value of 52. Now some of you are wondering, well, what? but I didn't isolate for x. I get what you did, but I didn't isolate for x. I isolated for y. Great, fantastic. I guarantee though, you will get the same answers as me. Just a little bit different work for this, but I promise you the same x and y you'll get, the same number of one bedroom, the same number of two bedroom. That I promise you. So let's go back to the question. We did isolate, sub, found the answer. The next step is to sub again. So now we're subbing in equation number one. So x plus y equals 80. So now it's x plus 52 equals 80. That means that x is equal to 28. So now we have our two answers. So finally, we need to check our answers, 28, 52. 28 one bedroom, 52 two bedroom, and plug it in. We're substituting in equation number two, so it's a little bit tougher. We plug it in, and lo and behold, folks, we find out that it's left side equals right side. Therefore, there are 28 one bedroom apartments and 52 two bedroom apartments in the building. All right, I know it's a long one, but word problems are key and crucial in this unit, so it doesn't hurt for you to work with more and more word problems. Finally, your homework is on page 26, folks. Numbers 1, 3 to 9, 12, 13, 20, and 21. All right, you have a great night, folks. Have a numerical day. Take care.